Hey guys, like here. I want to do a quick uh, unboxing and a review of the DeWalt uh, Orbital Sander. This is the variable speed version with the hook and loop, basically Velcro design. Um, I just picked this up at Home Depot, it was $69. I had this guy, this is a hyper tough, probably got a Harbor Fate or something. But when I was peeling off one of the sand in this, this thing came off. So yeah, you can technically buy this, replace it, maybe one day I will. But I wanted to use this as an excuse to get something fancier. I originally wanted to get uh, either a Milwaukee or um, a Makita. The Makita was a little too tall when I was looking at the displays in Home Depot and they didn't have a corded Milwaukee. I uh, specifically want a corded one because I don't feel like changing the batteries as I'm doing my deck project here right now, for example. I do have a cordless Ryobi, which is fine for that. So let's open this up, see what we get. And this is the DWE6423. So. Directions, dust, uh, container. And then this is the sender. So, I really like the design of this. Some of them were probably an inch or even more taller if you look at your display in Home Depot. This one is just more compact, a little lower, has a comfortable grip. Makita was a little too tall. I didn't like the grip on it. So, uh, the DeWalt won me over. You know, it's a solid brand. And also, this is variable speed, which the other brands you have to pay a lot extra for. This was already just a default. So for the 69 bucks, it looks like it was a steal. So let's pop this on. Plug this up. Check out the speed. So orbital sander means that this goes any direction, right? It doesn't just uh, vibrate like the square ones or spin in one direction. That makes it more comfortable sanding and easier on your hands after a while. So it's one side of the speed. It's slow. All right, not bad. So we got these uh, Diablo, which is basically the brand Home Depot always carries for saw blades and sending discs, 80 grit. I'm gonna start with that. So we're gonna try one out. Hook and loop, basically means Velcro. You just can't say Velcro unless you have the authorization from them because that's their name. Um, so you wanna line these up with the holes. So basically the dust, most of it, especially if you're working indoors, gets in there. And yeah, let's try this out. I'll try low speed first. Go like three. Pretty smooth finish for 80 already. It does take off all that excess surface just when I wanted to do. This was a really old deck that I actually burnt with a torch uh, to remove this paint and then was just scrubbing with a brush. So now I want to finish it with the sander. So I might even try to find heavier discs like a 50 or a 60 to really get into some of these cracks. But yeah guys, really cool sander. I like how it feels. I uh, will share some comments below uh, once I finish the whole deck and uh, I'll have the video for that coming up soon as well. Uh, it's uh, restoring your deck on a budget during this pandemic with the crazy wood prices. Thanks for watching. Hope this is helpful and comment below, subscribe, thumbs up. Thank you.